He is known for being a Russian writer and physician who captured the struggles of the working class in his literary works. Recognized for his collection of sketches called The Underground Kingdom, which exposed the hardships of coal miners, he made significant contributions to the field of literature. His name is Vikandi Verisiv. In the realm of Russian literature, one name stands out, Vikandi Verisiv. Born in Tula to a noble family of Polish descent, Verisiv's journey into the world of writing began early on. After completing his education at the Tula Gymnasium in 1884, he pursued a master's degree in history at St. Petersburg University. However, it was his enrollment in the University of Dorpat slash Uriyev for a course in medicine that would shape his future. Verisiv's literary career took off with the publication of his first collection of poems in 1885, showcasing his talent for evocative verse. In 1887, he made his mark in the world of fiction with his debut short story, The Puzzle. But it was his experiences in the coal mines of Donetsk that provided the inspiration for his most significant work. In 1890, Verisiv embarked on a journey to the coal mines with his brother, immersing himself in the harsh realities faced by the miners. The result was a collection of sketches titled, The Underground Kingdom, published in 1892. This poignant work shed light on the struggles and hardships endured by the exploited miners, bringing their stories to the forefront of Russian literature. Verisiv's, The Underground Kingdom, holds profound significance in the field of literature. It exposed the social injustices and inequalities prevalent in Russian society at the time, sparking conversations and debates about the rights of the working class. With his vivid storytelling and keen observations, Verisiv became a voice for the voiceless, shedding light on the plight of the miners and igniting a call for change. In the late 19th century, Vikany Verisiv emerged as a prominent figure in the Russian literary scene. A member of the legal Marxists, he published his works in influential journals such as New Word and Inception. During this time, Verisiv delved into the psyche of the intelligentsia at the turn of the 20th century, capturing their struggles and aspirations in powerful works like Without a Road and At the Turning Point. Verisiv's literary prowess extended beyond the intelligentsia. He also shed light on the plight of the Russian peasantry in stories like Wiser, which garnered praise from none other than Vladimir Lenin himself. His dedication to portraying the lives of everyday workers was evident in works such as On a Dead End Road and the novella Two Ends. In 1901, Verisiv published his most successful book, Memoirs of a Physician. Drawing from his own experiences, he fearlessly critiqued the Russian medical education system. However, his political views led to his dismissal from the hospital where he worked and a two-year banishment from Moscow and St. Petersburg. The outbreak of the Russo-Japanese War in 1904 presented Verisiv with a new opportunity to serve his country. Joining the army as a doctor, he witnessed the heroism of Russian soldiers and officers, as well as the corruption within the Tsarist army. His book, In the War, published in 1906, vividly depicted these contrasting realities. Beyond his fiction and war accounts, Verisiv delved into critical and philosophical works. In his book, Vital Life, he conducted a comparative analysis of two literary giants, Fyodor Dostoevsky and Leo Tolstoy, in the first volume. The second volume, Apollo and Dionysius, served as a critique of Friedrich Nietzsche's views. Verisiv's impact reached beyond his writing. In 1911, he established the Paisatli V. Mosk Publishing House, a testament to his commitment to promoting literature in Moscow. For years, he led the publishing house, contributing to the growth of the literary landscape until 1918. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.